Outlast. Welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to play this for another 30 minutes. I'm not exactly sure how long the playtime is. For all I know, I could still be at the fucking start of the game. I don't really know or care. But, um, yeah, like right where we left off, my dick was about to get chopped off by some weird geezer who thinks I'm a girl. So, uh, yeah, fun. Let's go. This scene made me feel so uncomfortable, and yes, I'm going to show it, because I've been informed of some good news, but uh, it's still kind of fucked up. If they, if they lie to me, if they lie to me, I'm just going to be so fucking mad. I'm not, I'm going to, ooh, Andreas, ooh. But uh, yeah, uh, let's do this. If the cat decides to load, Okay, so we get to see people getting their shit chopped off. Oh, we've seen all this before. A delicacy to be unwrapped and unwrapped again and savored. Fuck. Here we go. I've been a little vulgar, and I want to say I'm sorry. I just, you know how a man gets what he wants to know. Yeah, but after the ceremony, and I've made an honest woman of you, I promise I'll be a different man. I can't tell the difference between a man and a girl. I want a family, a legacy, to be the father I never had. I'll never let it's anything happen to my Jesus children. Fuck. Not like. I wonder if he said this like over and over to the others that he's fucked over. I hate how I have to do this like the entire here. Here. I know you must be just as eager as I am to consummate our love. This time of though I am gonna watch it, even though it is gonna make me feel fucking ill. And I'm not ill because I've already seen it before, but it's, it's just still fucked up, dude. It's like, yeah. If this kind of shit happened, like, if this shit kind of shit is happening in, in like real life, which I highly doubt and hope that it isn't. I mean, I hope it isn't, but highly doubt, like, that it will ever happen. And, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm the only kind of same one here, though. Even though that's not gonna last too long. Darling, I need you to try to bleed less. I know the fair sex often endure the same wounds with your suffering, but you really need to make an effort. That's, that's his thing. That's, that's his ball. Okay. No, oh, you. Oh. I'm so sorry, darling. Love isn't for everybody. You stabbed him in the dick, what do you mean? You rammed that knife up his balls. You think, like, even I know what fucking sex is, that's nowhere near it, mate. Ramming a fucking knife up someone's Hold dick. still now, darling. All these unsightly hairs. Oh, silky smooth, like a little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. No, no, don't, please. Fucking hell. That's his dick. Oh, God. You actually fuck. You're ugly. Give him up. You're not even worth streaming up. Oh 
hope I honestly I'm see I see pretty hopes he would have cut his hand on that fucking saw blade, honestly. Is this my turn? Yep, yeah, here we go. Except my balls are gonna get cut off. Let's try and do a roleplay here. You shall have we? amazing bone structure. Such soft skin. You're going to be beautiful. Stop fucking touching my leg. Hold on, a can I? Hold on, I want to see. Like, I know I fell down an elevator. I want to see if you can see the wound on my leg. Just try to you should be able endure. to. But you ca I can't see for the wound on my leg. For the sake of our children. It won't take even, long. Even remember a few my face. snips of the flesh here and here. Cut away everything vulgar. A soft place to welcome my seed. Oh, Grow our family. The incision will hurt. And the conception. And birthing is never easy. I'll make a cut fast. Just close your eyes and think I'm not sure that now. No! Ah! Thank you, whoever that man was. Am I still wearing nothing? I think I am. Bastard. Got my legs fucked up still, apparently. Jesus. Okay, I'm happy that no one lied. Jesus Christ, thanks, Andreas. <laughs> I've got no batteries, are you kidding? Okay, so I have to navigate my way through here completely naturally. Mainly because I don't have my goddamn pants to keep the batteries in. Like, where am I going to store the batteries now, eh? Hopefully not up there. Are you gonna run? Okay, I'm just gonna run to a random direction, honestly. My wall right away, you at, buddy. I hope you do kill this gun. You're just fucked in the head, mate. Okay, so I wonder if my leg's gonna ever be good again. I wonder if I see him like they're looking out at me. Oh, man, that's kind of disappointing. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, even if your leg is fucked up, man. Jump out a window to escape that. I'd happily do that. Okay, well, starting all over again. We gotta get new batteries all over again. But this is where I fell down, isn't it? Okay, well, we're not going down there again because my leg's already fucked up as is. Um, okay, let's go this way. Save. Yeah, I'm going. Um, my leg is like really bad, so. New battery. I'll take any of them. About now, because I need to stock up. I'm really upset that I can't run. Like, properly. 
is as fast as I'm running. And that guy with the fat dude with the chains is gonna get me. I heard running. Yeah, uh, whoever it is, stay where you are, please. Oh, okay, I got with you. <laughs> okay, buddy. Uh, don't grab me, please. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Fuck's sake. What do I feel like I'm dead? This is fuck. Jesus Christ. Look at all the goddamn guys on the ceiling. Wait, they're women? Is that one a woman? Oh no, it's just the bag. Oh. Why is it only men in this asylum, eh? But they're sexist. Why is he here again? I dislike that guy. I'm crazy, mate. Come on. I'm dead. There's no way! Okay, so he comes back around that way. The only way to escape him is to go through that. Is he gonna put me at this point? Yeah, okay. If he's not there now, but as soon as I pick that key up, he's gonna be there. Oh my. Ah! Stepping on my face. Oh no. Okay, so. Yeah, honestly, I just don't have the slightest clue.
Like this, it's insane, man. Uh, yeah, it's fucking funny, cat. There he is. Come run, dude. What are you doing? Honestly, I'm so confused about it. My game for this. Uh, like, okay, if the game didn't freeze then, I probably would have been stuck anyway. The problem is, though, that the Outlast, for me, is that this controller's RB button doesn't really work properly. So I can't really necessarily do much in running, so that's why uh, it might be impossible to do this one. Yeah, this is going to be stressful, isn't it? Just fucking know it. This episode is mainly a waste of time because, uh... A game for us, it's going to take an extra five minutes of time just to load the game back up, and I'm going to be stuck on this one level for 15 minutes. Hey, you have your dick cut off, fucking brother. There you go. Comes around this way. Around this way. I think he knows where I am. If you'd like to just move, like I'd be very happy. Yeah, he 100% knows exactly that you're on. Well, I could try on that, but I can I mean, I'm dead. Let's get back from there. I think you gotta open this, and then go to the... Oh, he's gonna come out of here. 
Okay, we're gonna try this. Okay, that didn't work. Um, yeah, okay. This is gonna be the most annoying part of the game for me. I, just, I can already tell. Okay. He's just not going to come through the door now. You're fucking kidding me, right? As soon as I get off, he's gonna whack me. Yeah. Okay, so how do I do this then? I just don't get that. You can't hide behind the desk. Because he'll see you. Like, somehow, he'll see me. So I think all I gotta do is go through that door, go back out, and then just wait. Well, I had to... Fucking, I just don't know. I can't outrun him with my leg, obviously being fucked up. He's gonna be right behind me. Good for me, I guess. I think I gotta do what I did last time, then just block him out again, if I'm being honest. Gonna go off that way, that sucks, so I need to go that way. Are you kidding me? I'm actually kind of mad. Oh, I'm a crouch. Close. Come on, hurry! Jump! I'm safe. 
made it, guys. I feel like I go this way though. I have to look for some kind of, I don't know, I need batteries. Yeah, I remember, I remember this place. I, would have, I was honestly half expecting him to, to see him there. Whoa. Fuck off! Oh my god! One more! I try. I tried. You all betrayed me. I mean, even if I was a woman, this would be abuse. You can hang like the rest of them. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, Hate to imagine. Hold still. God damn it, what are you? Oh, damn it, darling. No, you need to behave. Oh, that's the wrong way, it's this one. I'm not behaving, it's dying. Been beautiful. What the fuck happened to him? <laughs> Fucking psychopath, dude. Well, he's dead now, no more darling. I'm just kind of glad he's out of the picture, to be honest, after all them innocents is killed. Let's press on. Forward. Male ward. I do know there's a female ward, I'm just imagining what the fuck's happening around that place, if I'm being honest with you. Because you never got to see it, I don't think, in the original one. So, honestly, you could see it in this one, that would be quite cool, honestly. Because there is female hostiles in Atlas too. I knew that would be something. Fucking church, look. A cross. I thought of Atlas too, and I thought of a bitch with a cross, and I just got recording things. Up and get back to the truck. Amen. That's the doctor. All these are soldiers just killing random people. So if I get seen by these guys, I think I'm dead. So this was the elevator thing where the doctor died, like in the elevator in the first one. Okay. This sucks, dude. If I get seen, I'm gonna get shot. Happy my character has the common sense to be quiet. Where'd them guys go? That means they're down here, aren't they? I'm scared around the store, maybe? Hello? No.
I don't like this eerie music, dude. Long hallway, nice. This is always a good sign, isn't it? I just love bodies on the ground like that because I always think one of them is going to grab me. Save the battery, I guess. This is a room at the start of the game where all the guys are watching the telly, I think. Or it turns on, but you enter through one of these windows. The real question is oh, yeah, there is no batteries in there. If there was that, if there was that, then that means the other guy just completely missed them. I know to do that. Yeah, this is 100% the start. Maybe we'll find some batteries, I don't know. Just hoping we're not finding it. Oh, I'm in the toilet. Entire place is actually far. I can run normally now. My legs just completely fine. Um, if we look around here, okay, apparently the other guy didn't come through here because we see broken glass. Oh no, that's where he got thrown from, I think. Yeah, that's where he got thrown from. Wait, I just want to see this real quick. Would I be able to see uh, any broken glass? Because that's where we got yeeted at. Huh? We can? That's cool. We can see where we got yeeted at the start of the game. By big guy with chains. The nostalgia. Oh, I'm not... Mr. Park, <laughs> how the fuck are you still alive? Uh, let's uh, make a deal. You help me. I'll help I don't know you. where this guy is. God, I'm stuck like a pig. Where? Yes, War Rider! I'm completely fine. It's like it's protecting me. Or am I just not bleeding anymore, like, until, like, you can see it? Because if I was, if I actually did stab me well. I don't mind, I'm limping. So this is most likely the ending, I'm guessing. This is gonna fuck me up. Escape! <laughs> nah, it's coming!
did I escape? You press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Honestly, my life technically could already be fucked up if I'm being honest, so. I'm doing it. Is that, is that the end? Whistleblower. Yep, we're achieving a lot. I've finished the Whistleblower DLC. So that's the end of Whistleblower. Um, finished it in three episodes. That's decent. It was pretty fucked up, honestly. Um, it was well worth the pound, though. Like, well worth it. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, yeah. I like how the wall rider just protected me, and at the end I just saw it, like, try and follow me. Thing is, your life would technically be over if, like, like, already over if, like, you've seen shit like that. Like, and that's enough to make someone insane. Like, put in a fucking asylum for good. Oh, Andreas! Freak! Wait, is there another one? There's another one. Andreas Asperger. Come on, please be a bird. I can't be asked. Press him back. Okay, next horror game I might play is Alien Isolation, and I might set up the Connect. I'm just not gonna show my face though. So. Uh, I'm just gonna be like wearing a fucking balaclava. You'd still be able to see like how scared I am through the look in my eyes and shit. So, fine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed Whistleblower. Um, I know I kind of did. Well, kind of. I mean, it scared the shit out of me. So, yeah. See you guys.